Tate is newly elected in the uh, House 96th. She defeated Nikki Lauer with 72% of the vote yesterday. Lisa, good morning and congratulations. Good morning, and yes, I'm on my way to pick up my sign, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's that kind of day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sure people are sick of looking at these signs, so we got to get them up now. <laughs> were you aware of any of the ballot issues yesterday involving your name and Dr. Joe DeSoto's name as they appeared on certain precincts? <laughs> well, I wasn't until... Uh, so I was at the victory um, party, watch party for Patrick Morrissey, and... Um, and Mike Hornby came in and, and said, you know, i got to tell you something. So <laughs> it was a little unnerving, but um, it was a small precinct, so we weren't too worried about it. But still, I mean, we got to get that fixed. But, um, yeah, it was a little unnerving. It wasn't, from what I understand, not enough votes involved, especially based yeah. on the margin of your win, which was pretty overwhelming, 72% to 28%. Uh, kind of kept pace with what happened around uh, uh, the entire state in terms of percentages there, uh, Lisa. As you get ready to head toward uh, Charleston to serve in your first ever 60-day legislature, what kind of committees do you have an interest in? Well, I'm, I'm interested, like I had said on, on your radio, uh, anything children, but I'm, I'm really leaning toward um, education. So I'm hoping that I can uh, get on a com on the um, that committee. So um I'm just looking forward to learning, and I guess I'll figure it out when I get there. But that's one of the things that I'm interested in is, is um, anything that has to do with kids and education. So, Any ideas as a person who's kind of looking at it from the outside in uh, as you moved here, what an overall approach to readdressing education in West Virginia might include? Well, I was very hopeful to hear um, Patrick Morrissey talk about audits, and um, I think – you know, one of the things I would like to do is is really form like a, a committee coalition, if you will, with with him maybe and work with him and talk to some other states and find out, you know, what are they doing right to be in the top 10 and what we're not doing right. And I think we just need to kind of take a look at that and we need to to get into doing some kind of audits and looking at where our deficiencies are before we go into you know, throwing money at things and changing things and doing all that. I really think we need to take a pause and, and really take a, an honest look at what we're doing right and then what we what we can do better and what we're doing wrong, quite honestly. So um, I'm looking forward to diving into that and seeing what we can do to make things better. We, we've got to be better than 49th in the country. We just have to we have to get there. Bill? Yeah, uh, congratulations, Lisa, for uh, your victory yesterday. Uh, Thank you're, you. You're at Patrick's uh, uh, celebration last night. Give us some insight of what it felt like inside the Roundhouse. Oh, I'm telling you, the energy was just amazing. And, and you know, and his speech was amazing. It was just everything. I mean, because we, we won all of our races. And so it was really, I don't know, it was just a really good night. And then watching the the presidential numbers come in too. Um, everybody was just excited. It was high energy, hopeful. Um, just you know, people were just really happy and hopeful. I can, you know, it was just a really joyful evening. It was uh, oh so surreal for me. I never expected to be here and be in that kind of an environment. But man, was it! It was just the, you know, sounding old, but it was the coolest, <laughs> the coolest thing. It was just awesome. It was. Uh, it was fantastic. I, I can't wait. I, I just am so excited to get to work and, and to be able to get to work with him and really good other um, delegates that were elected and senators. I'm so glad Patricia Recker run, um, won her race, too. That was very exciting. And I don't know, all the way around, it was just a very exciting evening. Lisa, congratulations and best of luck to you as you uh, head toward Charleston eventually to serve in your first legislature. Well, thank you very much, and you all have a blessed day. You too. Thank, thank you. you, Lisa. Okay, bye-bye. As I mentioned, Lisa White was uh, one of the candidates whose names uh, affected by a couple of ballots that were not accurate, and that's a mapping issue. Joe DeSoto's was the other. Dr. Joe joins us via telephone now.